I just love to say that word, sturgeon. Sturgeon. And the Sturgeon Fest is back this weekend. You can get involved. Meteorologist Matt Willoughby joins us live again to explain how this event helps keep the fish population going in our waterways. Matt? Yeah, hey, Kayla, we're back with the fishies out, uh, at least in the Sturgeon Recovery Center. Of course, we are joined again by Matt Cross. Uh, so, Matt, tell us uh, why exactly this time of year is a good time to pretty much release them into the mommy. Uh, so this is a good time. Uh, it's before the water freezes up um, and they've, they've kind of grown to this, this optimal release size. So the whole point of this is to get them past this stage in their life where they're really vulnerable. So at this point, they're really they're strong enough to escape predators and they still got this, they're bony and pointy enough that things aren't gonna wanna put them in their mouths. So it's a, kind of a combination of grow time, seasonality, and um, just a good, just overall good for the project in terms of the timing. Okay, great. And uh, kind of tell us about why uh, necessarily they are uh, kind of going extinct. Right, so the reason that these were, um, their numbers have declined over the years was overfishing mostly. So they were really harvested heavily for their caviar. These adult female sturgeon can have millions of eggs and they're harvested for that, but they're also will be harvested for their oil and the smoked meat. But then also, you know, we did a lot of, we, uh, our rivers were very polluted. We dammed a lot of waterways, interrupted their natural cycles for where they would spawn. So a lot of different factors contributed to their decline, but the, the biggest one was overfishing. All right, and of course, the Sturgeon Fest is kicking off this Saturday. Tell us pretty much when and where and what exactly the Sturgeon Fest is going to entail. Yeah, so it's going to be uh, 10 o'clock down at the Walbridge Park boat ramp down here by the Broadway entrance to the Toledo Zoo uh, from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock, where we invite the community to come help us release 1,500 sturgeon back into Lake Erie. Uh, we'll have our partners here from Division of Wildlife, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, a lot of our local agencies here with activities to educate people on sturgeon and a lot of our other uh, ecosystems and the waterways around here. We'll have some games, uh, we'll have food trucks, um, a live band, and of course the sturgeon. All right, there you go. Food, fun, and fish. I'll be kicking off this Saturday, so make sure you come out. Uh, meteorologist Matt will be reporting in Toledo for W2O 11. He